All right. Um, so if we look at this problem here, I've already worked this one out. I'm just going to walk you through it so you get an idea of how to do it. Um, once again, the first step is always to factor everything out. I factored the numerator and I factored the denominator here. So this here will now, once we've factored it all out, I can find my zeros, which is 5x plus 21 equals 0. That's the zero of my numerator. The zeros of my numerator tell me what the zeros of the function are going to be. So if I calculate this out, 5x plus 21 equals 0, I can solve it out for x. And that's going to give me um, negative 21 over 5, which is about 4.2. I think it's exactly 4.2. And it has to be negative. So I only have one zero for this problem. Now, the vertical asymptotes, I only have one vertical asymptote also. But the trick to this is that it has multiplicity. This x plus 5 shows up two times. So when I have an even multiplicity, I have to make sure to bounce. Now, I'm not going to bounce on the graph. I'm going to bounce on info wave. So that's one distinction between um, rational functions and polynomial functions that might not be totally clear just yet. So we have even multiplicity. That means we're going to bounce, but we're going to bounce on the info wave. Now, let's look at the horizontal asymptotes. I have 5x on the top and x squared in the denominator. 5x is the greatest term I have up top, or the term with the highest degree, and x squared is the term with the highest degree on the bottom. So who's going to win the battle between these two numbers? The denominator wins. The denominator gets much, much bigger. That means that 0 is the limit. So our horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0. Uh, the y-intercept, pretty self-explanatory here. You can see 5 times 0 plus 21 divided by 25. Pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. Our y-intercept is going to be at 0.84 if you want to do it in decimal form. So let's take a look at the information wave. And I haven't written out an information wave for this one. So I'll do that for you live. All right. So let's take a look at this information wave. Remember, we have to start off with just a great old-fashioned number line. Right there. And this is our info wave. And we're going to graph out. So let me put a little zero right in the middle. That's where I know where the zero is. So our info wave is going to have a 0 at negative 4.2, negative 4.2. And I'm going to have a vertical asymptote at negative 5. So over here at negative 5. And as usual, we start on this side. We start at the top right-hand side, and we have to hit every point of interest with either a bounce, a wiggle, or a cross. So I'm going to cross right through the zero because that one didn't have any multiplicity. And when I come to this asymptote, since it had a multiplicity that was even, I'm going to bounce. So that right there is what uh, my information wave looks like, and I'm going to go ahead and annotate it. So you guys can see exactly what the numbers look like, or what the uh, positive and negative values are. So this is going to be negative, 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 all the way until I get to negative 5. And it stays negative because I bounced. And on this side, the right-hand side of negative 4.2, I'm back to being positive, And I should end on a positive note. All right. So now that we have our information wave, all that's left to do is graph out our function. So we're going to put down all of our information. We have a 0 at negative 4.2. So here's my 0 at negative 4.2. I have a vertical asymptote at negative 5. I'm going to come over here to negative 5.
There's my vertical asymptote. I have a y-intercept at 0.84. So I'm going to come up to 0.84, and I just have to I just have to kind of write it in there. There. And I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. So I'm going to take my horizontal asymptote here, and I'm going to shade it just a little bit above the line so I can actually see the horizontal asymptote. And remember, we can cross horizontal asymptotes, but we cannot cross vertical asymptotes. So you just know that you need to transpose it one step back. Yeah, absolutely. This is exactly what I'm looking for here. So for our information wave, or for our graph rather, our, our info wave tells us that I'm going to be negative on both sides of this asymptote. But I have to come in on the line. So I'm going to come in right below, right below the horizontal asymptote because it's negative. And I'm not going to do anything at this asymptote. So I'm not going to go up. I have to go down because it stays negative the whole way. When I come to an asymptote, remember, I have two choices. I can go up or I can go down. I can't cross it. But because we're negative on both sides of this negative 5, I have to go down like that right there. So it stays negative on the left, and it's also negative on the right. It's negative until I cross at 4.2. So that means I'm going to come in from this direction, down, cross, through 4.2, right? Now, once I'm past 4.2, I'm positive. I have to cross through my y-intercept. And then remember, my horizontal asymptote tells me where I'm going to land when my graph is far away. So I have to approach that zero line. And there's my function right there.